At first glance, the 1984 Kansas City Chiefs appear to have been an unremarkable team, which had an equally unremarkable 8-8 eight eight season, except for a Week 10 game in Seattle, which the Chiefs wish they could erase from their memories. Greetings from the Kingdom this afternoon, where the first of two battles between Kansas City and Seattle is about to take place. You know, we went in there with a lot of confidence because we put 48 points on them the year before. And I had six touchdowns, so I was very confident. They used two quarterbacks, so we were, we were very um, adjusted to their offense because we played them twice a year. The 1984 Seattle Seahawks forced the second most turnovers in NFL history. They had 63 turnovers that year and 38 interceptions, and uh, both were club records and led the NFL. Apropos of much of the Chiefs' season, the early part of the game followed a mundane script with Seattle leading three to nothing after the first quarter. We were driving in the second quarter and moved down the field, and I threw a ball to Henry Marshall, and it wasn't a good throw, a little behind him, and he tipped it. Dave Brown ended up with it 90 yards. Picked off by Brown up the sideline, he goes! He could go all the way, he's gonna go all the way! No doubt, Dave Brown is gonna go 90 yards, touchdown! And from then, it was just spiraled downhill. The next drive, Carlos Carson, he was in my slot, underthrew him, Keith Simpson jumped it. Kenny throws up field, picked up the I jumped the route and I ran down our sideline. I remember this distinctly because I see Chuck Knox running down the sideline. Go, 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 go. Another touchdown, Seahawks! 76 yards! On the next possession, Bill Kenny was injured and the Chiefs were forced to turn to their backup quarterback, Todd Blackledge. By that time, you know, he's going in down 24 nothing. so you got to throw. When they changed quarterbacks and they put in Todd Blackledge, we were just going for everything. The Seahawks led 31 to nothing at halftime. In the third quarter, Blackledge threw interceptions on Kansas City's first three possessions. Blackledge backpedals for the blitz. Is on, he gets the pass away left. Brown's second score gave Seattle a share of the all-time NFL record for interceptions for touchdowns in a single game. Then we figure, okay, now let's get this thing over with and go home, and they weren't done yet. Throws up field, picked off by Seattle at the 45, and Israel go all the way for a touchdown. The Seahawk defense goes into the record books. Four interceptions returned for touchdowns, all of them beyond 50 yards. We had no idea about a record or anything like that until after the game. Four, as far as we know, the record could have been six. They've been playing football for a long time. As uh, history, I had a starring role <laughs> in a game I'd rather forget. As did Todd Blackledge. But there was a much more anonymous quarterback who also played a starring role in the Seahawks' historic day. You know who Sandy Osheski is? Sandy Osheski. I don't. Should I? Rookie third string quarterback Sandy Osheski threw the pass that became the record breaking interception. Osheski throws a field, picked off by Seattle at the 45. Wow. I did not know that. Apologize, Sandy. I, I, I didn't know, you know. I always thought it was uh, Todd and Kenny. I had never heard of him. And I, you know, I was kind of like, a, nothing against Sandy, but I was just kind of like, okay, how did this guy even get in the game? I was selected on the Parade All American team. Eric Dickerson was number one, Elway was two, I think Marino was maybe four or five. Um, I was like 10. The high school All-American accepted an offer from Arizona State. Injuries limited him for much of his college career, and he attempted only 28 passes in five years. And it was just bad luck. 
I didn't have the greatest luck out at Arizona State. After going undrafted, Osheski saw his luck begin to change. He earned a roster spot with the Chiefs, and due to an injury to starter Bill Kenny, he entered the regular season as the team's backup quarterback. Prior to week 10, the only pass attempt of his career came in the season opener. I had my first incompleted pass. It was fun. If something happened to Todd, I was going to be the guy. Blackledge's third quarter struggles against Seattle landed him on the bench. Quarterbacks have days like this. He's got all day long, but still throws a ball he shouldn't have. It's a very tough situation to put a young quarterback in when you're already just getting smothered. The rookie played the entire fourth quarter, completing seven of his 16 passes. While many have no memory of him at all, for Osheski, every moment of those final 15 minutes was unforgettable. I overthrew a touchdown pass <laughs> to Stefan. Osheski's got a man, and he couldn't get there. Page was in the clear. He was wide open. <laughs> I could have never in a million years thought I was going to overthrow that pass. The next play, is that the quick slant to Carlos? Dropped it. The coach told me I threw it too high. I said, yeah, coach, you're right, too high. Here, and hit him in the mask. Just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> it was gratifying, to, you know, I, I finished kind of strong. Until the, the last pass. <laughs> We're always kind of come to that last pass, but. As soon as I got the ball from the snap, I just looked to my left, and I was throwing to him no matter what. Very last second, I just saw him coming out of my vision. He had such a jump on it. It was a gift. <laughs> I didn't know it was a record or anything like that, but I guess they knew <laughs> with that picture. <laughs> yeah, so I got that to go to sleep with every night, but at least I'm in the books. You know, he got a shot. You could say I played an NFL game. The record-breaking pick six was the final pass of Sandy Osheski's NFL career. The Chiefs cut him during training camp the next year, and he never made another roster. I'm glad that I got in. It, it was a, it was, you know, a dream come true. <laughs> so. 